We're rocking the Slytherin merch today. What's your Harry Potter house? Let me know. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, I'm currently sick. I have a cold for the first time in six months. That was a bit <laughs> dramatic. I was doing so well, not getting sick, and then I went to Sydney and got a cold. But I figured let's turn this negative into a positive and use it to film a how to not look like when you're sick video. So I hope you guys aren't feeling too lousy. Uh, remember to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys wanna see more from me and hit that notification bell because YouTube is crazy. There's no other way to put it. Now, if you wanna see how I make myself look a little more alive when I'm sick, then just keep watching. Step number one is to drink your second coffee so you don't fall asleep whilst doing your makeup. Step number two, get all the boogers out of your nose. I apologize if I have any boogers showing. Let me just get them out real quick. So I'm gonna mostly focus on our base uh, for this video, like the foundation and everything like that, just because I feel like that's what really shows when you're sick. So we are gonna start off with a primer. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender Opal Essence Serum Primer. This one is hydrating and illuminating. So when I get sick, maybe it's just cause it's winter, but my skin is really dry at the moment and I normally have oily skin, but if you're the opposite and get really like clammy and oily when you're sick, I'd probably suggest using a mattifying primer and then going in with an illuminating, an illuminating highlighter underneath your foundation. But if you're dry like me, a hydrating radiance primer is good. So I'm just going to work this in to my skin. I feel like this primer mildly smells like insect repellent. Not in a bad way, it just like, it reminds me of camping. Speaking of camping, I'm going camping at a music festival in just over a week. So hopefully my cold is gone before then. You know what, let's go ahead and add a highlighter under our foundation as well. Let's bring back some of that healthy glow. Uh, so I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Dew You Dew Drops. I know this is expensive. If you want something cheaper, I also like the uh, Rimmel. It does like an illuminating base as well, but this is my all time favorite liquid highlighter. Ooh, ooh, it's got a chunky bit. So I'm just gonna, this was probably a bit much, but I'm just gonna work this on top of that primer as well. I should probably pin back my hair, otherwise I'm gonna get illuminator and foundation all through it. Looking better already. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my nose is quite red. So I am gonna take a green concealer. This one is by L'Oreal. And I'm just gonna plop that around my nostrils. This is gonna help hide the redness a bit. Also, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera because I've got like beaming lights at my face, but under my eyes is quite dark as well. If you're not gonna use a high coverage concealer, uh, I'd recommend using a peachy concealer corrector underneath your eyes as well. But spoiler alert, I'm gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape, which is very full coverage. <laughs> okay, now it's time for foundation. Like I said, my skin has been really dry whilst I'm sick, but if you're the opposite and really oily, I would suggest using a long wearing mattifying foundation. My brain is not working. <laughs> but I'm gonna use something a bit more illuminating. So this is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation by NARS. Also, this is the shade that matches my body, <laughs> not my face. Otherwise, we'd be looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So I'm just going to start blending this in to my face. Our foundation's on and look at that, look at that glow. It's like I'm the epitome of health right now. Uh, but to cover up my dark circles, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight my face a little bit as well to bring back some of that dimension. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Make it look like we've actually gotten some sleep. I'm just gonna apply what's left over on my Beauty Blender down the center of my face. Okay, now we wanna set that before it creases. So I'm just gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I really like this one because it's sort of a, ah, it's got it everywhere. Because it's a light yellow tone, so it helps to brighten up under your eyes. Just wanna pat that on. Ah! To go with the Harry Potter theme, I also play uh, Wizards Unite on my phone. I'm currently level 14. I'm also going to set down the center of my face. 
with this powder. Then to set my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX No Filter Powder. I really like this one because it's sort of got a sheen to it, like it's not a flat matte powder. So this is going to help us look sheeny, no. So this is going to help keep some of that radiance coming through. Because often when you set your foundation, it just makes everything really flat and matte. So next we want to bring some of that colour back to our face. I'm going to use a illuminating bronzer. So this is by Too Faced. This is their Pineapple Sun bronzer. As you can see, it's got a really light shade and then this bronze shade. I'm going to stick mostly to this bronze shade. And this bronzer has a beautiful sheen to it as well. This is definitely not a matte bronzer. So this is going to help give us that healthy glow we're trying to aim for here. This also smells like pina coladas, but I hate pina coladas. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people like pina coladas though, so if you like them, this probably smells delicious to you. So I'm going to bronze up the perimeter of my face, like I've actually been out in the sun instead of laying in bed for the last three days. Oh yeah, I'm not sick, I just got back from a tropical vacation. I'm also going to apply some down the sides of my nose. And for blush, I'm going to use a really, I'm going to use like a really light peachy pink shimmer shade. This one's by CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Blush in the shade 100. And I'm just going to... Oh, I love this blush. It just adds that beautiful sheeniness to your face. Mm. And now for highlighter, I love like the champagne looking highlighters. I think they just add like this beautiful sun-kissed, sun-kissed, sun-kissed glow. So this is the ColourPop highlighter in here, Kitty Kitty. I'm just going to add this to the high points of my face. Ooh, we are so healthy right now. Yeah, I run marathons. I'm into CrossFit, F45. I'm so healthy, what cold. I'm gonna take my powder brush, blend everything together. And then I'm gonna, t yeah, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to help keep everything in place with our base. This is a new bottle. I drown my skin in this, I love it. Uh, and once that dries, we can do our eyes and brows and lips. Honestly, those are going to depend on where you're actually wearing this look to. So I think I'm just going to do something really simple. Shall I zoom you guys in? So for our eyes, I have an eye booger. Why did no one tell me? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the Zodiac palette by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. And I'm going to start off by taking the Taurus, which is that matte brown. I'm going to blend this into my crease. One of my eyes is pretty bloodshot. Hopefully you can't tell on camera. So I just want to do something like bronzy and natural. So it doesn't really draw attention to the bloodshotness of my eyes. So I'm just going to blend this colour into my crease. I can't actually remember if I told you where I was going to put this colour. I'm also going to take this colour and blend it just on that outer corner as well. And I'm going to take some on a pencil brush, smudge this into my lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to grab the Gemini. I'm a Gemini. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid. I'm just going to apply it with my finger and blend it into the Taurus. You might want to skip this step if you're like going somewhere during the day and you want to keep things looking really natural. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to grab Here Kitty Kitty again on another pencil brush. Just dab that on the inner corner. Make our eyes look really awake and open. Beautiful. Again, if you're going somewhere during the day and you want to keep things like to a minimum, you can go ahead and just apply mascara now, but I'm going to do some liner and some lashes. But for liner, I'm going to try the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, I am liking this. It's got like a brush tip. Oh, I like this a lot. Maybe better than Kat Von D. Ooh. Uh, and for mascara, I'm going to try the Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. I only just got this. Haven't used it yet, but I've heard really amazing things. Oh, that is a fat brush. I don't like fat brushes. Let's do this. Oh my god, it's like as big as my eye. <laughs> Ooh, formula wise though, I am really liking that. It's like not clumpy at all, it really separates your lashes. 
I like it, but I'm still gonna apply falsies. I'm gonna do one eye at a time, just because I find it's easier to stick my lashes to my, my false lashes to my natural lashes whilst the mascara is still a bit wet. So I'm gonna use the Ardell Double Wispies. I have worn these maybe like four times already. So they're a little bit manky, but I think we can get away with it. And I'm back with lashes and brows on. I used the Sigma brow pencil, which I am now obsessed with for my brows. Before we put mascara on our lower lashes, I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Fake Awake Eye Liner. It's just a skin toned eyeliner. I'm gonna put this on my waterline. It's gonna help brighten up our eyes and help reduce the redness so we look healthy. <laughs> Oh, we look so awake now. And to finish off our eyes, we just want to add some mascara to our lower lashes. Do I really want to put this gigantic wand near my lower lashes? Lovely. So all we have left to do is our lips now because I'm sick, my lips are like next level dry. Like I normally have dry lips already, but now they're like whoo, the Sahara Desert on my lips. Uh, so I am going to be using a lip balm, but first I do want to line my lips just to help them look a little big and juicy. Oh, I should probably tell you what I'm using. This is the Wet n Wild lip liner in Bear to Comment. Wow, I just like overlined the crap out of my lips. My hands are not steady. I guess that's just the look we're going for today. So that is my lips lined. Now for my lip balm, I'm gonna use this one by NARS. It's the NARS Orgasm Lip Balm. I know it's also expensive, pretty bougie for me anyway, but obviously you can use whatever lip balm, lipstick, lip gloss you like. And here's the finished look. Look at how healthy we are. Ooh. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And if you are sick like me, I hope you get better soon. Take lots of zinc and echinacea. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.